Hello, can you believe the sitcom Drop the Dead Donkey was released 33 years ago? Many of us grew up attached to the TV screens. So today, I think it would be fun if you sat on a chair with your family and rewatched the TV series with the entire cast of then and now. Let's see what these actors are now, who has made it to the top of Hollywood and who has passed away. Find the answer in our video. Jeff Rawl was born on July 20th, 1951, in Birmingham, Warwickshire, England. He played the character George Dan in the TV series when he was 39 in 1990. He is now living happily at 72. Can we make sure we avoid even the slightest hint of irresponsibility? Now, for instance, this piece we're doing on the state of our drinking water. Let's not frighten people unnecessarily. We hadn't got, you know, this moment, so there's an awful lot of effort goes into shooting a tiny sequence like that, um, but hopefully it, uh, it pays off in the end and it, you know. Neil Pearson was born on April 27, 1959, in London, England. He played the character Dave Chanley in the TV series when he was 31 years old in 1990. He is currently living happily at 64. Insulting Germans is considered a resigning offence. <laughs> yeah, answer phone again. Good Mr. Ridley. <laughs> when they first went out yeah. in 1955-56, you have never heard them before. This is, in effect, a new series of Hancock's Half Hour. So, um... Stephen Tompkinson was born on October 15, 1965, in Stockton on Tees, County Durham, England. He played the character Damien Day in the TV series when he was 25 in 1990. He is now living happily at 58. To like, you turn up and the emergency services have cleared away all the carnage, so you've got no pictures. I mean, well, these are just creative touches to my open palm from mm -hmm. advancing any further. Because of the state he was in, he took a tumble and fell about eight feet away from me. David Swift was born on April 3rd, 1931, in Liverpool, England. He played the character Henry Davenport in the TV series at the age of 59 in 1990. We regret to inform you that in 2016, he passed away at 85, leaving us deeply saddened. Did housewife offering oral sex if ever you're passing through acting. <laughs> no. I rest my case. <laughs> Haley, of course, was everyone's delight. She just enhanced and entranced everyone. They wanted to make to work with her because she was so much fun, she was so... Susanna Doyle was born on July 5th, 1966 in Kingston-on-Thames, Surrey, England. She played the character Joy Merriweather in the TV series when she was 25 in 1991. She is now living happily at 57. Robert Duncan was born on July 27, 1952, in St. Austell, UK. He played the character Gus Hedges in the TV series when he was 38 in 1990. He is now living at least 71. So Star Trek has given me a sense of the work um, is kind of forever, you know, it's, it's people. Sarah Stewart was born on June 28, 1966 in Edinburgh, Scotland. She played the character Jenny in the TV series when she was 24 in 1990. She is now living happily at 57. And unlike your lecturers, I have to live in the real world. Uh, George, there's an escaped hippo in the fast lane of the M25. Do you want a crew to cover it? Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the sort of stupid, childish yeah, yeah. mentality, that then, just to put it in the context of how young you are, you know. So I'd save my milk money. Hayden Wynne was born on March 21st, 1957, in West Sussex, England. She played the character Alex Bates in the TV series when she was 33 years old in 1990. We regret to inform you that in 2023, she passed away at 66, leaving us deeply saddened. He, John, Dave, oh, no. Damien and George, consider yourself volunteered. I see, so there's no chance of me getting a game. This won't be a game, Alex, it will be war. 
own autobiography and other biographies and talking to people who knew her. So, you know, just you just sort of dive in and hope that something rubs off somewhere along the line. Melvin Hayes was born on January 11, 1935, in Wandsworth, London, England. He played Sir Gordon in the TV series when he was 63 in 1998. He's now living happily at 88. And I like that in a woman. It's a relationship. Clarity. I like clarity. That's why I'm going to marry you. <laughs> it's... And he shouted so loudly. It was so noisy. Uh, but... Um, there was no storyline as such. There never was, was there? Alan Cordoner was born on April 2nd, 1950, in Stockholm, Sweden. He played the character art critic in the TV series when he was 48 years old in 1998. He is now living happily at 73. Well, it'll be a great scoop for me and fantastic PR for all of you in the army. You okay? Fair enough, yeah. All right, you get... Absolutely driven and you have a burning desire to say something and it's 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 Ingrid Lacey was born on November 6 1958 in Godalming UK she played the character Helen Cooper in the TV series when she was 35 in 1993 she's now living happily 65 Victoria Wicks was born on April 18, 1959, in Chappenham, Wiltshire, England. She played the character Sally Smedley in the TV series when she was 31 in 1990. Now she's living happily 64. Neil Stoke was born on February 22, 1966, in Deal, Kent, England. He played the character Wes Chasper in the TV series when he was 25 in 1991. He is now living up at 57. And in those places which brings me on very much nicely to the Checker Inn, which is a runner-up uh, on the on the one to one. Tell me who is your favorite character in the sitcom Drop the Dead Donkey and share your thoughts about the deceased actors by leaving your comments below this video. Remember to support us by liking, subscribing to the channel, and pressing the bell to receive my upcoming videos. Thank you and see you again!